helps create a very deep relationship, which will lead to ongoing business and really control the client so that, um, so that no other agent will be able to step in. You basically right. can own your for life. Not only that, and Michael is going to open up the presentation and kind of walk through it perhaps differently, but what I believe this does so uniquely and effectively is not only keep you as that, that advisor of the family's choice, but also educates you, educates us ourselves so that we could be more competent when we're speaking to people. And that will raise, you know, our intelligence level and also command more authority and respect and then move people forward. As we talked about earlier uh, in the recruiting business, you know, people need to be represented and pushed properly. I don't mean pushed in a negative way, but encouraged. Right. So that was a couple of mouthfuls, but. <laughs> that was a good intro. It's a good intro. So, uh, yep. And it's 207. So Jacqueline, are you still with us? See, and I get to say that just so she scrambles for that. Yes, yeah, so I'm still, I'm still here. I'm just on the right now. All but right. I'll be right, I'll be right back. Thanks. So uh, both Jacqueline and Samantha, are you on computer? Can you see the screen or are you just on audio? I'm on my phone, but I can see. I have it pulled up on the app. This app. Okay. I'll go ahead and click through slides then as we go. So first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Um, my name is Michael Lester. I'm one of the co-founders of Legacy Armor. And we've been working with Sal now for a while. And uh, he invited us to share with you, kind of give you some of the background, introduction to what Legacy Armor is, a little bit on how it works, and more importantly, what it can do for you. So I'll just jump in and Feel free to interrupt me at any point in time. If anything just, you know, strikes you and you want to ask a question, please just ask a question. Makes it easier for me that way. So first, just to get started, we envision a world where everybody's information is safe. Most people don't know this, but last year, $142 billion worth of benefits that should have gone to families, children, and whatnot went unclaimed because people didn't know it existed. Things get lost, uh, especially today. There's where we're going through this transition where some things are in paper, some things are electronic, and things have a tendency to get lost. I'm sure that all of you, as you're dealing with clients and you're asking them things, there you you might ask them for you know do you have this paperwork and they struggle to find it, right? And I see that. Teresa joined us. Hello, Teresa. And she is unmuted, so we can hear everything she's saying. Okay, hello. <laughs> hello. I'm just getting started, so good timing. Okay. Um, just, just uh, my name is Michael Lester. I'm one of the co-founders of Legacy Armor, and we're just talking about what Legacy Armor is and how we got started. And I'm going to give you a quick story. Our other co-founder, a lady named Sahar, grew up in the Middle East and her grandfather was a spice trader. He amassed a small fortune and he didn't trust banks because of everything that was going on in the region. So he decided to bury uh, coins. At that time, they actually were gold uh, to protect them. And he thought he would tell everybody where they were before he passed away. Unfortunately, he passed away before he could tell anyone. So their family lost probably, you know, a few million dollars worth of money uh, because they just didn't know where it was. And we decided there should be a way for us to protect this. And we created Legacy Armor for that basic purpose, to protect families' information, both financial information, real estate information, insurance information, and just family knowledge, uh, photos, audio recordings, all of these things. So that's why Legacy Armor was made. Now, as we, people started using it, we found out more and more that this was a fantastic way for agents, uh, real estate agents, life insurance agents, financial planners, to interact with people. So we started 
talking to agents more and more on how this works. So a home is typically a person's largest investment, right? And you work hard to make sure that they're in the right house, the right abode for the right price in the right place that fits their lifestyle at the moment. But what happens to all those assets if something happens to them? And this is where we come in. We're not insurance, but a lot of times people just don't know where everything is. So we protect that information so it's available to them. And I'll touch quickly on how we do it and then tie that into how it helps you and how it helps you help them. What we do is we have online fully encrypted vaults that they can store information in. And we can trigger delivery of that information on a date on a, um, or on someone's demise or death if it, if it so, if they set it up that way. And that lets us guarantee that if anything ever happens to them, information gets to the right people at the right time. Most people put in wills, powers of attorneys, um, any sort of documents for their house, um, cars, everything else that they would want somebody to know if something happened to them. So what happens is for every time one of our clients creates a vault. They create somewhere between one and three recipients that will get that information. As an advisor, you can be what's called a delegate in their vault and help them set it up. You can help them input information and you can help them determine who their, their uh, recipients are and set those up. This gives you access to all of their recipients, names, addresses, phone numbers uh, that are warm leads for you. And it also, it helps you in that if anything changes in their life, if they update anything, you get a notice that says something has changed in their life. And Teresa, we were talking a little bit earlier, I, I shared that my uh, ex-father-in-law was a salesman and he said, all salespeople sell the same thing, they sell change. And a lot of sales, a lot of, of real estate sales even, it's all about timing. You want to be the last person they think about before they need your service, right? And that's what our system does is it keeps you in front of these people all the time. And when something changes, you know about it first so you can reach out to them right at the right time when they need something. So to realtors, what this does is it builds an exponentially growing referral ecosystem. And I'll show you how that works obviously differentiates you from the competition since most people don't have this. And you set yourself up as a continual client engagement uh, person for the life of, of your clients. And you show, of course, your clients you care beyond just the sale of your product. It's a long-term investment in these clients that stays with them throughout their life. And I've got a bullet point here. You can see you do get firsthand knowledge of anything that changes in their life. So we know that referrals are usually the best way to get any sort of sales, right? And you can see the circle of influence here. So you've got your agent or your broker around them, you know, the first level, family, friends, and whatnot, and then neighbors, community, and then your online community. We want to tie you directly into those first level referrals, those people that have a legacy armor vault, they know about it, they know that it was set up for a person and how it works. And then when you reach out to them, it's like they've already read the material. They already know what you're talking about and how you can help them. And you may just help them set up a vault at first, but again, you're tied in then and you get information about them so that as things change, you can be the first one on the spot. So for every vault, you have three recipients. For every one of those recipients, they can have a vault, which has three more recipients. It's an exponentially growing system. Some of our agents um, get a little inundated because all of a sudden they're like, okay, I have more people than I could possibly know how to call. No, not day one, obviously, but as it grows, this is how it, how it grows. So again, the product, very simple, fully automated, there's no third party needed. Some other systems that you may have seen or heard about um, are all manual. 
we actually have patents on the way our system works because it, it is unique in the industry. Everything is fully encrypted, so all their information is fully protected. It can't be, I'll, I'll say it, it can't be hacked. It can be hacked. But even if a hacker got into the system, all they get is fully encrypted data. They can't use it. So it's the most high protection you could possibly have on any information on the internet. And it gives you instant access to everything. The other thing that we have is, like I said, you always want to be the last person someone was thinking about when they need something. We have one vault that's special. It's called a healthcare directive vault. And our clients can put in a healthcare directive or a will or healthcare power of attorney in there. And we give them a wallet card that they carry in their wallet. It has some of their pertinent information, blood type, next of kin, who to call. And of course, as a sponsor, you get your name and phone number on there so you can see who it is that you got this system for them. So it's like getting your business card stuck in your client's wallets forever. Uh, for as long as they have the system. And most of our clients, our system is sort of like life insurance. Once you buy it, you keep it forever. Our turnover is just amazingly low uh, because it doesn't do them any good if they stop using it, like life insurance. So any questions on that, how the system works, kind of what it can do for you? I wanted to keep this really quick today because I know everybody has other things to do. I wanted to give you a quick introduction into kind of what we are and how we work and then open it up for questions and see what you guys may be thinking. And I am going to manually just unmute you guys so you can just talk and not fumble for the button. I'm going to try to unmute you all and maybe that doesn't work. There we go. All right. Any questions? Does this make sense to you? Let's see, I can't unmute Jacqueline for some reason, but I've got Samantha unmuted and Teresa unmuted. So I guess just to wrap my head around it, it's, it's Samantha. Um, yeah. You offer different services and just, it makes them well connected with different resources and different services. Is that basically what you do? And you combine it all in one place for them to have access to it? We provide a storage system where they can put highly important information that they want to be delivered to others, whether or not they're still around. Because of the way the vaults are created, an agent can be a delegate on the vault and has access to the vault just like their client does. Okay. So they can put information in for them or update information for them. And then as the client goes in and changes anything or updates it, the agent gets a notification that things have changed and they can go in and see, hey, what's happening with my client? What's going on in their life? Uh, and gives you insight into what's happening, what change is taking place so that you know what you can talk to them about when you reach out to them next. Interesting. Yeah, it's a great concept. It works well. We've been working a lot, quite honestly, with insurance agents. We started with them made most sense, uh, moved into financial planners because they started seeing the benefit. And now we're moving into uh, the real estate market as well, because as we were talking to insurance agents and financial planners, again, guess what the biggest investment most people have is? It's their house, right? So it just made sense that we start working a little bit more upstream with the real estate agents in this respect. And Michael, sir, as we, as we spoke about earlier, the the home or the house is a large asset that once acquired needs to be disposed of eventually. And more time than not, people need to be guided as to whether a house property should be placed in a trust or not. And that discussion can be opened up by a realtor to say, hey, by the way, now that you have this property, we've seen some real estate agents do this, you know, let's, let's keep in mind what the end game is for this house. And I want to be involved, you know, in that. And here's how we do that for you. 
by supplying you this tool that will capture you know, all of the important documents. And we could start right at the closing table with the closing documents and the settlement statement and the title right. insurance policy and the appraisal. And of course, they can never find the title insurance when they want, you know, when they need to, to get the discount for the next purchase. Right. You know, so, so, you know, we place all of those items in, in there upfront, sort of pre-populated and then hand it over to the client and say, here you go. You know, this is what we've done for you and let's get you started in the right direction. And oh, by the way, uh, your family, you're moving in, you know, congratulations. I, we love your children. He's great. Look at him. He's smart. You know, I just want to let you know what we're doing for you also is supplying you with an opportunity to get a last will and testament, a will for your family. You might need that and so that this house goes properly to someone. And this system, this tool provides this estate plan to the client that's using this for free, for free. So even with that, people go forward with this as a door opener even to gain attraction and, you know, with the client, with a prospect even, uh, who's not a client, uh, that this could be uh, shared with. And then from that point, um, that person knows who you are and you've now, now marketed to someone and now have a potential client coming in through a different door rather than I sell real estate. Well, so there's, you know, 4,000 other people on the same block. Sure. So. Ab absolutely correct. And it, what we like to think of it as, is people start being seen by their clients, not just in a single light, not just a real estate agent, not just uh, a life insurance agent, not just a financial planner, but more of a holistic life planner that helps them with their large decisions. And then, you know, when they, when they need something and say, Hey, you know, I, I think I do need this. I have no idea to talk to. Well, let me call, you know, Samantha and ask her. She, she knew this stuff. It just makes you more of a trusted advisor so that you are the first person they call. Did that answer your question, Samantha? It did. No, I absolutely did. Sorry, I'm taking notes. I love it. It's a great concept. And I like the idea that Sal brought up, I mean, to just get them in the door and give them that opportunity to become a lifelong client by offering them the tool. Yeah. And because, it's I mean, it was something, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, please I go was ahead. Thinking it was something else that I even was talking to a title agent about at a closing table. And it's the same concept of just wrapping everything up together to make it easier for them and make you their main point of contact give them a whole binder at the closing table that says, this is all of your closing documents. Here's how you set up your Comcast. Who do you call for water? Who do you call for fp &L? And it's just like everything right at the closing table. I'm, I'm loving the idea of doing that. I, I think, I think Samantha is catching on. I think so. <laughs> and and better it. than, better than that, even it's if anything happened to them, like so many, um, I mean, I've probably bought and sold, I don't know, eight, nine houses in my life you know, and I'll take that little binder or whatever and I put it in a file somewhere and 10 years later I'm going to move and I'm like, okay, I have no idea where this is. Yep. And God knows if something happened to me, I mean, prior to Legacy Armor, because I have vaults now, <laughs> but prior to this, if something happened to me, there is probably a 0% chance of my children being able to find out where this information was. Right. And the beautiful thing about our system is they don't even have to go look. When our system detects that something happened to a client, it reaches out to them and says, hey, we've detected something happened to this person. They wanted to make sure you had this information. Log in here so that we can get it to you. It's, uh, I'm, a, I'm a geeky techy kind of guy, right? So I look at it the same way as the evolution of email. For those of us that are much older than most of you probably, uh, when email first came out, you had to hit refresh all the time to see if there was anything new in your mailbox. And then AOL, America Online, was the first company that changed that around to where they got the iconic, you've got mail, right? And it just told you when there was mail there. And of course, we all accept that as just, well, of course it does that today, right? Well, we've done that with information. Right now, to find information, 
you need to know where it is and you need to go check, right? Has anything changed? You know, where is this? Uh, what is the password? All this other stuff. We've turned that around 180 degrees so that when it's time for you to have the information, the information finds you and lets you know that it's there. Yeah, that's great. How do you, um, so how do you get most of your clients to sign up and create a vault? Do they come through these other professionals or? Uh, yes, for the, we've done different kinds of marketing. We've, like every other company, right? We tried direct to consumer and found that that is very time consuming. Um, although they love it, but again, time consuming, you know, one at a time. Then we started working with the insurance agents who, you know, every time they sell an insurance product, uh, it's an easy conversation to say, how are we going to ensure that your beneficiaries know that this policy exists? And for a nominal fee, you know, they could have their own fault. And then the same thing with financial planners, as they were creating all of these documents, we would say, how are we going to make sure that the beneficiaries of all these documents know that they're there and what's in them. And then again, now moving into real estate, how are we going to make sure that people know where it is? So for the most part, most of our clients uh, have a vault initiated through an agent of some sort. Got it. Well, my boyfriend works for Northwestern Mutual. So I'm, can I take this, I don't know how the Zoom calls work. Can he listen in on this conversation later? Certainly. Like, was it recorded? No. Okay. Uh, he we, can. Yep. I'm yep. sorry. No, go ahead, Sal. He, he can. And then I would encourage you to have him line up a meeting with me by phone. And um, then I could share with him that I spent, you know, five years with Northwestern Mutual in New York as a <laughs> field director. So, so you've heard of them. <laughs> with them. So I understand the quiet company and I do know the company's products very well. Okay. And I yeah. have the utmost, by the way, I have my life insurance, you know, some of it anyway, with Northwestern Mutual. Right. Um, so, but yes, and the way to really get this out there, obviously, is, okay, one-on-one -on -one is good, but it also helps to position yourself in a place where you could be the point person for someone else who can open up some doors um, and be able to have it distributed out to a larger crowd. And I could share with you some of that, for example. Okay. Uh, down the road, right? Great. But yeah, that's a natural. And and um, the um, a, a, as I said, there's been a big failure. I didn't say this, but I'm saying it now. And then you know, we can see if there's any other questions. But there's a failure. There's a huge, huge disconnect between providing a service and a transaction. And, and making sure that the box is closed, that the environment that the people or families and lives are living with you in it is closed. And this is that closed, it's almost like closed circuit TV, remember that? But this is that closed loop system that keeps you in a good way trapped in it, in the walls of the consumer's life, inside of their file cabinet. And uh, they will come to you and they do come to you for questions and concerns because subjects come up and they're going to look for a referral either from you to another advisor or which opens new doors for you again to network with the attorneys and CPAs and offer this to them. And I can go on and on, but I'll, I'll just sit back. Hey, Sal, I saw I have several questions. Go can ahead, Jack. Yep, we hear you. Okay. First, do you require, I mean, do we require a license to do this? No. No. You do not. We don't need a license. Okay. So, how, how is it set up? How do, how do we get it set up? So you, you, and I, you and I will meet separately. We will talk about the platform and how. It's given to you where you're able to now be an advisor with a key or a cabinet or an advisor console for you to begin adding clients to it, whether they're already established clients or they may be friends. 
family and other people. And then we will, we will have a link that will go to them from you. And Michael can, can talk a little bit about the logistics of how that's done. Maybe you want to, you could take over from there. And what is the cost on that? <laughs> um, yeah, we're passing a special discounted rate to AXP agents. And I don't know who's on the call. So there are some that might not be. So that'll be a private, you know, a private discussion with me. Um, but I assure you that it's very, very attractive and very nominal and very affordable to not only you as an agent, but also to the end user to uh, to have this in their in their life. I mean, very affordable. It's not even like you know, okay. concern. Certainly we wanted to make sure that price was not a deciding not, factor. Right. But I'll go through that with you. You know, whoever you know, whoever is interested, because also there is different pricing structures that we have to be responsible to pay attention to as to who we're working with, right? So, I mean, if, if there's someone that's coming in with a group of 10,000 people, you know, that we have, we have some differences in structure we have to discuss, but that's why I really can't just come out. We can't just come out and say it, but certainly I'll let Michael continue if, if he okay. wants. So, and I guess at that point, you go over how much the cost for the client as well, correct? Yeah, yes, that, that, that's correct. That, that is correct. And there's, there's going to be two, I can say this, there's going to be two separate options available. One is, is that the, the, the option would be that the client is going to pay for the tool themselves. Very, very affordable. It's not even a three digit number a year. So that's one option, okay? It's um, a, and so whether or not the client pays for the product once a year on their own, and we have agents that actually comp it for the client, for their client, to give it to them, basically, uh, as a closing gift or other ways to just, it's so affordable that it's better than giving them a, an Olive Garden gift card, for sure, or even a bottle of champagne, or a kitchen magnet with your picture in it. Or the so, bottle opener that I got. <laughs> some of the gifts are great though, these real estate agents coming out with some incredible gifts. But um, nothing like this that will, that will keep you integrated into that family deeply, nothing like this. But, so that's one option. And the second option is for a, higher, for a higher fee to the agent to subscribe, the agent can give this product away for free to everyone. And so I discussed the uses and which one is best for the agent, whoever we're sitting with, because everyone's different. Okay. Did that help? Yes, that helped. Okay, will that be training also? Yeah, yes, there, there will be. Something like this is available that we do um, periodically. Uh, you certainly are open to talk to me directly, continually. Um, it's some people respond better that, than others to technology and seeing a video like this. Case in point, we had over 25 people that said, definitely, I will be there. Definitely, I will be there. And, um, you know, we, we didn't get the number. So to just say that, you know, our, our train is, training is always going to be video would not be the answer because obviously people don't attend. So it needs to be done in different methods, different ways. And that would be a phone call. It would be a one-on-one, -on -one, let's say, with us. And, um, and that's how we, we will do that. But once you get acclimated, it isn't that difficult to continue to use and to help people use. The good news, <clears throat> I would say, this is like a double-edged sword. And I'll go out and say it this way, Michael, that while the tool is 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 simple and it is it isn't always easy and so it does take a little bit of proactive work on our side your side to make this really hum but the good news for that and the blessing behind that is that because of that it's what keeps the communication between you and your person strong because they need you for this, right? This is not like a one and done where, hey, you got it, good luck, push a button. No, this is a, I'm in your life interacting with you 
um, because you need my help. Did that make sense? Yes, it does. Did you hear me? Yes, great, great, yep. Yep. But let me ask so you that's, that's, the, that's the beautiful thing behind this that I see. Go ahead, sure. Okay, so we have a fee that we pay. Okay, say we have, have you know, an annual fee to cover everything, you know, for that. Is there any income that we can make off of it as well? Uh, is it just a benefit of giving the, uh, our clients that extra benefit? That's a sell, that's a sell question. The answer is yes. And, um, and that's another avenue that we can explore as to how that can be done. Okay. Um, obviously, if you open doors, obviously, then, then, it's, um, then it's going to be worthwhile for you to, to see the ability to harness some revenue for, for it. And so the answer is yes. You know, there have been, and, and Michael, you can correct me if I, if I misstate this, but there have been, probably are, advisors, and I can't speak for real estate agents, I'll just use the word advisor because it's a generic term, but that charge their client for the use of the tool. And, you know, depending upon, dependent upon how much effort and work and time and all of their knowledge and experience that the, you know, the, the, the agent has, um, they feel that they should be rewarded um, and compensated. And so they can charge and do charge for the use of this product. So you can go with that as a strategy for revenue income. Does that make sense, Michael? Did I say that? Yep, sort of yep. Right? That, that is correct. Okay. Anything else, Jacqueline? Uh, that's it for right now. And uh, we did get joined uh, by two other people. James and Nahed? Both Who do we have out there? James? James Bryant and Nahed just dropped off. Okay. And James is not muted. <laughs> just, thought oh, I'd warn you. just thought I'd warn you, James. Nope. <laughs> It's actually Jane De Palma. I'm on my husband's computer. So. Ah, okay. Hey, Jane. Sal here. Welcome. Uh, hi, Sal. Thanks, thanks for checking in. Sorry, I'm late to the party. <laughs> Better late That's than okay. now. Okay. We'll, we'll have a one-on-one, -on -one and I'll I'll make sure I, this will never happen again. Okay. So if everybody's ready for the quiz now. So the quiz the quiz is how many volts. Will your client, customer, friend, family member, yourself even have in place? That's the question number one. Is it four? Very good. Who said that? Jackie. Jackie, you get your you get your charge discounted by a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> right, next, next next question. We talked earlier about the the. E Eco, the referral ecosystem that Mike alluded to, Michael did, that would be able to not only have you have knowledge firsthand on the user and what's going on in their life as you're notified as to what changes they're making, what information is in, what is not in also that should be in, that you could say, hey, by the way, we, we noticed on your checklist that you put everything in, but your title insurance policy is not here. Hey, thank you. It just gives you such an, you know, such a great feeling to know that they'll know that you care about them. So the question is, though, in addition to the person who's using it, each vault will allow you then and them to choose recipients or beneficiaries, right, to be tied to. How many possibilities are there for you now to have access to their beneficiaries' email addresses, phone numbers, and their information so that you can now strike conversations about who you are and what you do differently? So the question is, how many recipients are there that you will now have access to for each party that's using the system? 
tick tock, tick tock. Well, I could be unlimited because, you know, I guess, because each part you have that, but what if it, is it, does it also follow like a tree that you, you know, the next, I'm just curious. It, it sort of does. So, uh, and the correct answer is three for each vault. So you have four vaults, you have three, you can have up to three different recipients for each vault. So you can have up to 12 different new leads and contacts for every one client that you have. Okay. And I think the next question should go to Jane and it is, what subparagraph of ISO 27000 describes the technical details of the encrypted algorithms used on the vaults? Be careful because I, I believe Jane is either a, an attorney or a... I'm an attorney. A, oh, an attorney. I'll speak slower. <laughs> I'll be, so. <laughs> so Jane, I think can recognize the use for this, but we may have to have another session for her. So I object. Okay, I <laughs> object, Your Honor. <laughs> I do have wanna... another question. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. How long has this product been out, and is there any competitive from any other? products as competitors? That is a great question. And uh, having been in business for many, many, many years, more than I would like to admit, I always tell people that if someone says they don't have competitors, they just don't know who their competitors are. Everybody has competitors, right? So I'll give you a, a brief history. We actually started uh, this company in 2013 but it was a different name. Uh, we didn't know how the market would respond to it. For those of you that are online, I'm gonna show you our, our wonderful uh, team here. Uh, we started this in 2013. We actually started it under a name called Secret Valet, and we wanted to see how the market would respond to it. And it responded very well. Um, we had a lot of people take us up on the offer. We got a lot of input from clients on our first version on what they wanted to see. And we got a lot of input from our corporate uh, clients, our advisors, our agents on what they would want to see inside the system. So we went back and we rewrote the whole system and we rebranded it then as Legacy Armor. And Legacy Armor then as a company came out in late 2017. So the next question then is, are there any competitors? Yes, there are. Uh, there were before we started Legacy Armor. We started Legacy Armor because we were able to identify weaknesses in all of their systems that we just couldn't in good conscience live with. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, both Sahar, our uh, the other co-founder and myself we're we're techie guys at heart uh, both of us have degrees in electrical engineering she has a master's in security technology uh, i'm a chief information security for an international software consulting company we live die and breathe security and making sure that things are safe every other company except for us has flawed security and it's flawed because what they require you to do, like many sites online, is they require you to upload some information and then once they get it, then they'll encrypt it and store it for you, right? That has a problem. The problem is, is it's not encrypted while it's being delivered so that anybody on the internet that is tapping into the packets flying back and forth can read your information. And if they were the ones that encrypted it, they can decrypt it, which means that a disgruntled employee could reveal the information that's in your vault. They might accidentally reveal the information in your vault. If the government subpoenas them, they have to reveal the information in your vault, 
we th- saw that as a weakness. So we actually designed our system with something called zero knowledge end-to-end encryption. The way our system works is your information gets encrypted on your local machine prior to being uploaded. So the only thing we ever receive is a already fully encrypted file. We can't decrypt it. We have a patent in the way that we figure out if you're the right person to deliver the information to when your vault is triggered for delivery. All we do is download a fully encrypted file to your laptop or machine or whatever, and it gets decrypted there locally. So there's never any exposure to your information. The other thing that they didn't offer was every one of them used something called um, deputies. So their, their idea is you, you put up information, right? Not fully secure again. And then if something happens to you, you've designated a bunch of other people that will come and tell this company that, hey, something happened to you, and then the company will give them the information. Well, one of the whole problems we're trying to solve for is people can't remember things very long. So now we're requiring two or three other people that are your friends or family to try and remember 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now what the name of that company was that you said you were storing your stuff with. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you, but I have a difficult time remembering what restaurant I ate at three weeks ago, much less remembering a company name somebody told me 20 years ago. So we saw that as a huge flaw in their systems, and that's why we designed our system so that it's fully integrated, fully online, fully automatic. Nobody has to remember anything. We monitor a, a client's digital footprint to find out if anything happened to them and then automatically deliver it when we determine that something has. Does that all make sense? Yes, but I still have more questions. (laughs) What are some of the names of your competitors? Some of the names? Yes. Uh, Everplans is one. Everplans? Everplans. Okay. Um, Legacy Shield is another which was actually founded by a marketing firm because they just thought it would sell well. Uh, those are the two biggest probably. Okay. And you said <clears throat> initially you came, what, 2000? Initially. When it came under uh, Legacy Armor. That is correct. And is it, uh, is it still a private company? It is. So um, how's it grown? I mean, what's the size? As far as, I guess, um, employees or yep. the size of the company? The beautiful thing is, is it is a fully online system, so we don't have a huge number of employees that are full-time. Okay. We have five full-time employees. We okay. have a team of developers, now that the system is up and running, that we use for maintenance. That's a six-person team, so that we always have somebody available should anything happen. And then we have all of our affiliates and everything that are out there selling and and bringing in new clients and whatnot. So currently in the U.S., we have about 2,000 people signed up on our system. And we opened up a branch in The Hague in the Netherlands because of security and privacy laws that are different between the U.S. and Europe. we were not able to satisfy all of the security and privacy requirements in Europe using a US only system. So we have a mirrored system in Europe to supply all of our European Union clients. Okay. So how, how's your growth year over year? Year over year right now, we look at about 32% growth. We're still in a very fast growth uh, environment. Our biggest issue is just getting people aware. Right. We've, done, we've done a lot of market research. We even, I'll be honest, when we first started this, Sahara and I took clipboards and walked around the streets of five different cities uh, just asking people, hey, can we stop you and ask you some questions? And told them about what this would do. And our response rate was 73% of the people said if it existed, they would use it. And we found that to be about true when we're discussing it with people. It's a kind of a new idea. People don't 
it's not something you would go search for on the web, right? Because it's not a, a top of mind idea. So we have a little bit of education with people to let them know what this is, how it works, and what it will do for them. But we found that it's about right between 70, 75% of the people that we describe the system to that hear about it and understand what it is end up becoming one of our clients. Okay. So do you have any inside sales or how, do you, how are you selling it besides using, you know, I guess, realtors and I guess you use other professions also that help sell the system? Yep. A couple of different ways. Uh, we started completely business to consumer. Did a lot of online advertising, found out it was very expensive with a very uh, low conversion rate for the most part uh, compared to price. So then we started working with the first group that made sense to us, which was insurance agents. It just makes sense. Uh, I don't know if you were here on first when I threw this out, but last year alone, $142 billion worth of benefits went unclaimed because people just didn't know they existed. Life insurance pol or companies didn't know someone passed away. Beneficiaries didn't know someone had a policy. And even if the insurance company did know that they passed away, they couldn't find the beneficiary. $142 billion worth. So we figured, let's go right to the source of this. And we started with insurance agents. And it just made sense if you're paying, you know, for a uh, two or $300,000 policy, you pay a couple dollars a year to make sure that it gets to the right people when it's, when it's time. Basically, insurance for your insurance. We then moved to financial planners because they're the ones that are setting up all of the documents and everything, especially for, um, to supersede someone's life, right? They want to make sure that things are set up so that if something happens to them, their assets that they've worked so hard for get to the right people. And then now we're moving upstream a little bit more to real estate since it is a huge investment and it's probably the largest part of most people's portfolio. Backing up, we still do some B2C, uh, mostly Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, whatnot, just making people aware of what we're doing. But we really find that the personal touch works better for us where agents know their people and can tell them what it is. Okay. And can I inject just one note here? Please. And that is, you would be surprised to find out how many times there has been property in a family, perhaps never disclosed to a spouse one way or the other, or one of the partners has ownership in properties with a business partner that's never been disclosed that no one know, knew existed, that they own property or, or a business interest and never gets passed because no one knew or it had to go through probate and no one knew where to find anything or even that someone owned property. And then we have found also that spouses love this tool, both for the benefits of jointly held properties that need to be protected that each party should be knowledgeable of. But also there's been many times where one party in, 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 the, in the marriage um, does, does not want to disclose what they may have separately held. So the need for this to enter the real estate industry is huge. And one last thing I'll say about the comparisons that were brought up earlier. Those other companies can't touch this product in many ways. But right off the bat, the simple way to, to prove it is this product offers one terabyte of storage capacity. That's phenomenal. That's huge. I mean, you can never really use all of the, the room. And there's cost for that. Where the others have, what, 25 gigabytes? And so once you upload a video or, you know, maybe a person wants to put their home video in there, you know, professionally done that when they're ready to sell it, whatever, you could be as creative as you want. Those tools will never be able to hold in, in capacity. So just wanted to mention that last tidbit. Let me ask you 
ask you a question, how much presence? Because, you know, I had Google and I didn't see a whole lot of presence online. I mean, is that something that you're looking to do? Uh, I'm sorry, the presence online? Yes, increase your presence online. Yeah, actually, if you search for legacy planning or legacy, you'll see us in the top four. Legacy uh, planning? I believe that's what it is. Um, we do have a team that's working on SEO right now. Because I also look at YouTube. I think I saw maybe one or two YouTube videos. We do have um, we do have a number of YouTube videos. Several that was produced. Yep. Um, yeah, I look at uh, Legacy Armor, and yep. under that I saw maybe two. Yep. Um, <laughs> Is there one last a question? I have um, an obligation to run off to at four, and it looks like I'm almost there. <clears throat> and maybe we could revisit this personally. I'll reach out to the attendees, and then um, we could discuss it separately and see if it's a right fit for you and how we can make it a right fit for you. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's our pleasure to do that. Okay, I appreciate that. Sounds good. And we do want to be respectful of your time. It is three minutes till, well, three here in the tundra of the north, uh, four for some of you in the nice balmy weather in uh, Florida. And Samantha, is it three for you in uh, Dallas? Or oh, I'm in Florida. Jacqueline. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So any last quick questions we can answer for you? Uh, and again, happy to get online one-on-one -on -one with you and answer questions to your heart's content. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think that covered it for me. I, I also appreciate it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. We hope you go check out the system, take a look at it. Um, you can work with Sal and get a more in-depth look into how some of this works. And we're happy to get you any information you might desire. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, everyone, mm -hmm. for attending. Look forward to chatting with you all again soon. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Bye-bye, all.